to open the meeting for November 4th and uh, propose to uh, review the minutes if anybody got any missions or corrections to them. I did not actually have. Yeah. Did you have any? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, the continued public hearing notice in 10225 Taylor Street. Um, second sentence. Uh, it said that. <clears throat> No, third, sorry. Utility crossing will be required and can be accomplished with work in the 50-foot NDA, but not the wetland. Um, I think the work required in the 50 is going to be temporary, at least the piping for the sewer. So I would suggest saying with temporary work in the 50-foot NDA, yeah. the pedestrian crossing, um, I wasn't even sure that path I thought they made it so that it actually wouldn't even be in the 50 foot. It well, is. It's, it's outside in the, the wetland. So it's yeah. inside the it's 50. It's in the 50. But, but they, they pushed they everything outside. It outside the, of the, the 50. The, the 50 foot crosses the property yeah. line. Yeah, the property line. They squeezed it outside of the edge is of the it? wetland. So now they don't impact the wetland. <coughs> right. All it's right. in the 50 though. Yeah. Okay. In between that retaining wall and the edge of the wetland. And they said it would be um, uh, pervious, like some sort of yeah. gravel or like that and then I also um, I thought they said that the constructed wetland was actually going to be eliminated because of the elimination of the crossing and not just uh, smaller I thought they were going to eliminate the one that's um, the larger yeah I, I clarify with that they're actually that the constructed wetland is, is basically a basin it will it can be smaller and no longer needs to be constructed wetland they still need to have it for oh. stormwater management oh. so so the constructed wetland, it actually should be just a capital C, capital W. That, that's not the mitigation wetland, that's a stormwater feature. Right, I thought the stormwater feature was going to be eliminated and combined with the one that already exists, or the one they were planning on um, as a part of the, as, you know, the square, the square of land in the middle that's not going to be constructed. The, the constructed area on the left-hand side of that, um, I thought <coughs> had a, Stormwater feature. I thought they were going to add to that one instead of the other one. But you've clarified. They, 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 they need to redesign the plans and redo the stormwater okay. in the third party review. So all right, none that's of that's set in stone yet, anyway. Okay, and that's it. Just uh, other two other little. Anybody areas. else? Move that we accept the minutes as amended. For a second. I'll second it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Move on to article ninety. Under administrative discussion, Article 97, Land Swap, Parcel U40 150, U41 38, Old North Speakers Club. Corey Bell, the Color Department. Good to see you all. So I'm here regarding the Wakaman Water Treatment Plant location, um, which we discussed at Supply Plant last spring, and there were multiple meetings and hearings here. Um, at the time, we all Agreed, I think, that the least environmentally damaging alternative was to locate the treatment plant in the field across the street from the Wickham Wells, as opposed to at the well site, which would be within government resource areas. Um, <coughs> shortly after that, the town was sued by some abutters, um, claiming that the field location was protected as conservation land under Article 97. The town disagrees, uh, but the court process will take about two years to resolve and countless dollars from the town. Um, so in order to avoid all that, we're seeking simply to eliminate any alleged Article 97 protections from that parcel. There was a town meeting vote last Monday. Um, overwhelming support for, for this action was 91% in favor of removing the Article 97 protections from the field parcel and placing the, um, the well site under Article 97 conservation protections. So as part of the process to do that we need that town meeting vote which we got we also need a unanimous vote of the conservation commission at which point the local approval process is over and we can send that documentation to the state and begin the process there um, so that's what i'm here for tonight is to hopefully obtain a unanimous vote from this board or answer any questions you may have first or any discussion you'd like to have so is it going to be the same wording mm -hmm. or um on the alternate uh, or on the well site as this would have been on the field. This is what town council is, is suggesting for the for the motion. 
Yeah, that's the motion. Yeah. The actual special act, the Home Rule Petition that will be submitted to the legislature, specifies that the um, the, the well site will replace an Article 97 protection will be maintained in its natural state, so it actually prevent any development of that site in the future. Whereas the field site leaves it open to mm -hmm. constructing a water treatment plant, in our opinion. Oh wait, so so this is just saying that the 2.5 acres are surplus. There's another th copy you passed down. And therefore, could be put under 97. Is that why? No, it's it's, that it's essentially saying that the two and a half acre field site is surplus to the town's open space and conservation needs. That's oh. sort of the language that needs to be used, oh. I guess. So that doesn't it isn't needed for conservation. Right. Yes. And I don't believe we have that under our custody anyway, that field, right? right? So right. that's under the not right, yeah, insurance. it's not ours. Actually, according to the open space plan, it says that it's owned by the town and managed by the water department, and it is uh, currently under open space protection and perpetuity, according to the 2016 update that you guys did. So it's under the care and custody of the Board of Water Commissioners, that's the language. I guess I would say that it's surplus if the other land is put under the conservation. <laughs> so right. yeah. Would this be able to say both? And then, then that would be, able be a to question for town council, I think. Uh, so the, the special act itself uses that language. It, it, it's a trade, you know, the two and a half acres of the field for the 2.75 acres of the well site. Right. And it specifies that you're not going to shoot yourself in the foot on that side of the, where the wells are if you need to those new wells you were putting in didn't work out that you would have to keep redoing? No, I mean, we, we would prefer to keep any infrastructure out of the, the well field other than the wells themselves, so okay. I don't see it. You've covered it, so you've got that specified, so you like, You mean know, maintaining a replacement? change around for right. the water tower and everything? Yeah, no, it shouldn't be an issue because the, the, the so there's several parcels at the well site. The one parcel that would be placed under this <coughs> Uh, conservation protection is away from the wells anyways. It's more towards the river. <coughs> so th we would never need to put wells over there. And okay. we'd prefer to never build a facility there. That's why we want to put it in the field, so. That would be the two pine roads you're talking about, probably, in the, with the old highway structure. Where the old highway garage was, which we tore down last These week. These are the, the two yeah. properties. The red one is, is where the tree and plant is, and the yellow one is the traffic stop. So it's the same thing that we that we've looked at before, right. um, you know. And so, you know, the, it's we don't want critical infrastructure within wetland buffer, a riverfront area, a flood zone. Um, never mind the fact that all of these all of these areas, the mapping and the stormwater with which you know the calculations and the data that you use to determine is this a good location for infrastructure is out of date and so it's actually more prone to flooding than it you know than the required calculations say um, so I think you know from a from a technical um, and infrastructure standpoint you know preserving this land um, and building infrastructure outside of our resource areas you know, is is the way to go. Um, the language, though, as far as the the motion, um, you know, how do we? Like, it doesn't say anything about putting the other one in, even though the memorandum says. Well, that's what, I, that that's it, what well, I was saying too. Yeah, that it needs. It so would need to say both, I would think, in, our, or in order for us to be I okay to surplus this. Yeah. Trying to keep it clean so you don't Can we add? Uh, yeah. Or That's coming down the road after they do all the design work over on that side. Yeah, the language is, that language is in the special act, but yeah, it's, it's not in the motion that the town council provided. He said he could be here at 8.30 if we wanted to wait for him, and I wouldn't feel comfortable modifying this on the spot. I want him to weigh in on that, yeah. just to make sure it's the right language. Okay. I just want to make sure something doesn't get lost. Mm -hmm. I feel it, it, I have some concerns about who drafted, who drafted the motion? Tom Town Council. 
And I'm sure, like, I'm sure the intent is there, but um, yeah, I just feel more comfortable not surplusing it without. Yep. Okay, let's just let's just wait till we can weigh in on. Okay. Okay. Move along. Okay. That's from the light match. You want to send him a text? Yeah. 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 What if the light match? Tell me they're going to be swamp match. So uh, someone over Mattawanagi called and is interested in doing a, what are they called? Swamp map, not a swamp map. Oh, the benthic map. Oh. Um, to, to kill weeds in front of his property on just like a temporary basis, basically, for swimming. Um, his proposal, he said, was, you know, pretty much a, a large tarp held down by cinder blocks for two weeks. He said that should probably do it, and then you remove it or, or move it over. So, you know, I did some research on all sorts of different ways of doing it. Um, and I imagine if it's successful, other people in Mattawanagi or on the other lakes might want to do this as well. So I wasn't sure what guidance to give them in terms of, of permitting. Um, and I, I asked DEP if it was filed as an RDA because it's work in a resource area, if they would just reject it. And she actually didn't answer that, but what she recommended is that maybe the drawdown notice of intent can get amended to include this as a, a possibility. And then the commission would need to come up with sort of a policy that, you know, kinds of material sizes need to come in. Well, time frame, so we have to make sure that someone Yeah, not time frame, so. It and yeah, and, about and Corey, I think mm -hmm. Clean Lakes was amenable to maybe amending the, that order conditions to include this as a possibility. And then when the first guy comes in, we have to start working on up a policy on it. So which which uh, vegetation do they want to get rid of? Um, I think he's got he's got all the Eurasian milfoil in front of his place. Uh, so I talked to um, the folks up in Maine who do this like on a, a fairly large scale, and and I talked to oh um, Solitude Lake Dominic over there, yeah. and uh, somebody else, and and they basically. Said, It'll have a temporary impact, um, but everything's going to come back. It's, it's not like it's a, a permanent thing. It all comes back, and they're not going to get rid of the weeds mm. even by doing this. Um, so at your discretion, what do you think the best way? Because I just didn't want to have a bunch of people coming in and having to get nose and tents to put down a 200-square-foot tarp or something like that I would just be, I would just be afraid, well, of... Any animals that might use the benthos to right? How, right, how it would affect them? Yep. Yeah. Really, like entrapment in the shallow, like the, the feeders in the shallow Aquatic portion inverts, of the water. Inverts, right. Would would be temporary displaced. You know, would be killed. Oh well, I don't really like this tarp that much. I'm going to stick it in the lake, and then we've got you know microplastics is a pretty right, big so issue. Materials piece of it, yeah. PFAS comes to mind with plastics. And they can't use, if they do whatever material they use, they do have to slit it because gases do right. build right. up underneath yeah. it. Yeah. So otherwise it'll just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, and like what if people forget and the import, mm -hmm. like... Yes. The document, you, no, you, like you were just saying tarp with cinder block. You passed along a document that had something oh, much more substantial than that. Yeah, absolutely. Is, so or would it be that or the cinder blocks and a tarp because yeah, that's, putting that's steel just what this this one guy was basically okay. thrown out there that he, he wants to try it next summer he gave us plenty of time uh, yeah. to, to figure it out um, and you could do it on a case by case or maybe you could start on a case by case and then if it looks like it's going to work or more people are interested you could change the uh, amend the order conditions is it because solitude's treatment isn't working no for it? uh Solid doesn't do Mattawanaki. So they're doing Mattawanaki only manual. Mattawanaki just draw down, right? Yeah. And just draw down in manual stuff? Yeah. Because it didn't, they, 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 they the they ones the harvester. The harvester, yeah. which spreads milfoil, doesn't it? Because it's, every little piece becomes a new yeah. plant. Um, well, maybe they want to try herbicides. <laughs> rather than I'm being treated on a case by case. Westford will not allow herbicides. Yeah, no. mm. Um, so I don't know how that would work on, you know, it's all going to go in the water column. Is some sort of uh, bugs they turn loose too? I think they did that over to uh, 
Long suffer part. For no foil? Yeah, it was something they used. Yeah. It was some sort of a bug. I think you can to kind of see what data yeah. they bring in. And, and see how I wouldn't want to say no, but I, but I think yeah. that we need to be educated yeah. to, yeah, definitely don't to that. that. So if somebody wants to take to spearhead that to bring that in, I, but I think to tell them that it's not slim dunk that. The That's timing right. would be critical, probably, with sure. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I, I don't and they might want to flip it, and, you know, over the summer. Right. Move it into place. All right, so I'll tell them the nose for 10. <coughs> yeah. Can I just like 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 data one sheets more? from the manufacturer? Yeah, exactly. One more yeah. thing yeah. here. Request for certificate of compliance, 32 minutes, 6 drive, 204-820. And before I get too far, I just want to add something to the agenda item is 3 Westchester um, and some work that's been done there uh, at the back of the property. I think Kyle may be coming in later. Or we discuss it. But, uh, yeah, so 32 Middlesex. Hi. Good evening. Let me help this again. Uh, so I've got the plans that um, with everything highlighted on that we were looking for before. That's a page two. Hot tub does fall pretty much inside the 50 foot zone. So here's the 50 foot line here. So you want to review the, the letter and where we are from the last meeting to this meeting? Um, yeah, so I had some, um, we had some site visits with uh, a few members over the past two weeks, and one suggestion was uh, to you know, add some native plants. Uh, and where's your proposed planting on here? Uh, proposed planting in this area over here, where the, where the, pink. Where the pink is. Okay. Uh, everyone seemed to agree that was a pretty good spot. Okay. Um, as far as quantity goes and whatnot, we're you know we're open. Um, the the plants that we were interested in were the low bush blueberry, mm -hmm. red twig, uh, dogwood, and uh, mountain laurel. Uh, I think they'd be good with the the way the shade and sun is in that area. Um, there was also some. Uh, invasive stuff, and I don't know the names of them. Handful. There were quite a few, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honeysuckle, uh, pointed right out. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which I'm happy to get rid of as well as, as part of the whole thing. I think that's what we had, had sought to kind of try and see how to renaturalize and, and to make it a better place. Okay. Thoughts? I think it's a great plan. When I was on site, I. Mm -hmm. Thought it was the best way to approach this. Okay. Any questions on plantings, or we can uh, talk a little bit about volume? I don't know. I, my feeling was there has to be some consequence of, besides just planting, some consequence of building within the 50 without In the invasive, letting us know. The invasive component, I think, really, I mean, would you this property very greatly? I also, and I noticed the um, the found so the hot tub is portable and the foundation is gravel. And so I feel like gravel is something that you know would would be something that we would agree to in a previously disturbed area. You know, and the hot tub is portable, and to to move it over here is this would be the only other area. So it's you know regrading, and um, you know there's wooded area and. I think the invasive control is you know, something we don't you know, don't typically have a homeowner do. And the where the hot tub is, it's it's that whole area was disturbed to begin with with the septic system. I mean that it wasn't it wasn't like we moved beyond or any closer to the uh, wetlands. Um, yeah, and you know, I understand what you're saying, consequences, but we really uh, I just assumed uh, a kind of a freestanding unit like a hot tub is, was not an issue, to be honest with you. I didn't. And the area in the photos that you'd shown before was a substantially compacted used area. 
Yeah, it's all in the exi where the existing fill had to go in for the septic system, and you know the lawn is established there. Um, I would feel differently if the lawn was extended further than it was supposed to be here. What's everybody's thoughts? I feel comfortable with the revision. Anybody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that the commission um, approve the um, letter the plan is submitted and issue a certificate of compliance for 32 Middlesex Drive. Do you want to issue the certificate of compliance before the stuff's done? Oh, <laughs> forget <laughs> that part. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll make a motion that we approve the plan as submitted. So I assume it's okay if he comes back in the spring when the plants are available. Yeah. If he needs to make some substitutions, yeah, now. Really we can work available. that out. Yeah. Okay. So second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then maybe we can talk about placement and volume. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, why not? Let's see. All right, get back to us. Do you have the form to sign on that? No form. Okay. I guess we better go up So we can skip over to, yeah. Mm -hmm. 745 public hearing notice of intent 12 Mary Shepherd U03 2 6 Mass DEP file number 204 902 after the fact permitted to work in the urban park area or buffer zone. My name is Steve Sears. I'm David Ross Associates. I'm here on behalf of uh, Kevin Conover from my office and uh, uh, Mr. Shazanko. Yes. Uh, for 12 Mary Shepherd Road. And um, you guys. Thank you very much. <coughs> you all have a copy of the plan? No. 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 That's right. I thought I sent the whole staff on It's like a road map. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have photographs in them too. work that was done within the 200 foot um, resource of uh, unnamed stream. The unnamed stream is on the USGS map is classified as intermittent. However, I believe it uh, was deemed perennial uh, subdivision and your bylaws are 200 feet anyways. Um, <clears throat> and that was um, taken from a plan from Stamsky and McNary, dated 2008. I'm not exactly sure when the previous work was done. Um, in, uh, uh, to the back area, that was in 2014. 2014. Um, all right. Recently constructed lawn, uh, lawn, stone patio, uh, crushed stone recharge areas, a wood and a chain link fence deck with the stairs and a gazebo. If you look at the photos, you'll see most everything we tried to get in the photographs. Steve, where's that? That's the uh, stream. But where's that coming in? Um, like where right down here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that something was leaching. Oh, no, that's uh, just uh, yeah. the homeowner took a few photographs yeah. of the uh, stream. The original homeowner? Uh, well, this fellow here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since the house is built, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're well, no. in the second home. Yeah. Second home. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, there's only a, was only a very slight bit of work in this corner here within the 100 foot buffer, and a um, very slight corner here. Ultimately, uh, 100 uh, 
um, approximately 100 square feet uh, within the 100 foot. And within the 200 foot is um, everything else, the propeller shed, and of course the lawn, the gazebo. <coughs> And the existing shed is that little guy in the, in the yeah, big corner? There's a little shed down here, right? Uh, it shows in the. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, and the propeller shed is the dark one up, up over here. Yes. Yes. So this is the shed that's here now, and that's the yep. proposed here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And I'm sorry, that's to be removed the existing shed, or is that um, staying? No, it was not. I was not planning to remove okay. it. Okay. So one of those that sits on top of our stone. Yeah, that's uh, that's the shed in this picture here. Uh, And the gazebo's existing, right? Yes, yes there it is. is. Okay. So everything's outside of the, for this new shed, everything's outside of the buffer, but within the 1 to 200 river. Everything's outside, yeah, except for the one little corner of the chain link fence here and another little corner over here. Right, but I'm talking about the new, new proposed. So the, the existing chain link is there now. Right. Okay. I think that the expansion of the lawn and that work was also done without a permit in 2014. Yeah. So the lawn, so 2008, the house was built, and then right. Uh, was it the prior owner uh, that expanded the, the lawn? The, no, the, the house was built in 2000, somewhere around 2000, 2003. Okay. So we bought it in uh, 2008. Okay. So, but okay. this work that was done without permission was under the old regulations. Yeah, timing was. Yeah, Oh, yeah. Between 2008 and 2014, yeah. the grass was expanded okay. in the river. Yeah, because your bylaw, what, two years now? 2016. 2016. So that work was all done outside of the 100 foot, but within, but within the 1 to 200 on the river. Correct. Which is, wouldn't have helped myself too, too much. Not, not a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty well street. What do you need to do to excavate in this area? This area? I, it's all, all of that. Sarah's all prepped and ready to go. No. Okay. Just a matter of, yeah, and the, the proposed shed itself is going to be, there's a paver pad already there in place with footings for it. I think we saw that on the site when we were out there this summer. Yeah. All right. Did you guys, and I'm not voting on this because I didn't see it was part of those meetings, but did you all have conversations about renaturalizing a portion of it or trying to come yes. back with something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did. Are we amenable to some of that? Have we had that discussion? The discussions never really got that far. It was just, oh. you know, we, need, we needed a plan got it. Right. to figure you out know, what exactly so happened and like all of this, okay. where, where all things of this were. Was like in progress without. Yeah. Okay. So this is, a lot of this is all new. Okay. Um, this was basically called when a building permit came through for the shed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, and the, what's not shown here, are, I think you did plantings all along here, a blueberry bush. And oh, on the back lot, yeah. That yeah. Was done. I think some of the blueberry bushes were done um, also in the, the 2014 period in the plantings back there were also done then. And not that we objected to them, but we were talking about filling in between them, like mm -hmm. that whole strip. So where's yeah. the area that you proposed to reclaim? What, what were your thoughts? Um, the area where like, the whole strip where the planting occurred, the, um, in here.
was maybe a path to shit. So would you go from there back to the church? Yes, Sorry, like to that area, um, yes. Chain link fence? Yeah. So you're referencing where you've got your trees, the mm -hmm. bushes here, and then I think that's your fence to kind yeah. of naturalize. So working in that area between yeah. what's there and the yeah. fence? Okay. Right. And I'm not sure about the fence itself, though. I mean, yeah. we, I would assume we want naturally animal life, wildlife to be able to move through there, but, and well, to move the, the fence. Area. Right. Well, and do I these, think that do was these uh, cinder blocks go all the way? Yeah, yeah, yeah kicking up holes. Yeah, yeah, so we can understand dogs and, and things, but you want smaller creatures to be How able to like have flow. Like, yeah because you are in the river <laughs> act. So that's, that's one thing. With the chain link, they would have gone with probably larger holes in order yeah. to let some of the smaller animals. Yeah, yeah I have to better understand, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm <coughs> but I, I think also, too, the uh, idea about with the original chain link fence that's there is they lost some some of their pets to um, wildlife coyotes, sure. things yeah. like that. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. that's why the fence was yeah. We One, the concern the with their children and also their right. the other pets. Yeah, and their um, coyotes are accustomed to people now. So mm -hmm. you see them running around right. in the daytime. And yeah, they're, they're aggressive. We see this a lot, though. I think there's been a lot of reports of <laughs> wildlife recently in town. Yeah. Um, and so it's so it's a balance, right? Yeah. You, you know, the river, the 200-foot riverfront area is an animal. attempt to yeah. preserve habitat. Yeah, and right. So it's yeah. and we're thinking yeah, of so smaller habitats, not yeah. coyote yeah. habitats. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Um, so that's the intent yeah, behind the regulations yeah. and protecting yeah. the area, so yeah. that there's habitat. Yeah, yeah. we, we um, noticed that. You know, we noticed the coyotes when the Westford shopping area was developed. Oh. And that that, that I think nice was way. a large wooded area for mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. and then they, you know, found their home. Yeah. Okay. And then, then there's a resource area there. You have your yeah, water yeah, in your yeah. resource area, and they don't have to like, cross a road to get to your yard or anything. And there's yeah, it's habitat. So that that's the intent. And so that's why you're in here in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking about your yeah. lawn and your fence. Yeah. Is, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so you know, that's so that's why we have to. I, mean, I, I would have. I mean, I would have to understand. So, I'm wondering if the solution is, you know, pulling the fence back a little bit and renaturalizing on the other side. That makes sense. Yeah. Is there any invasive on the other side? Pretty good. I think there's a bunch of poison ivy. Poison ivy. There's an ivy seed. But there's that. What is it called? Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Okay, so yeah, you're, you know, you're thinking of moving to moving your fence up and naturalizing on, on the river. On the other side, right. yeah. Right. Okay. There would be, I mean, it's 10 feet, so maybe the other thing to look at is invasive control instead. And, yeah, I'm also just thinking in terms of what, what we're going to do when that gets ripped up. Mm -hmm. I think I got rough leave another wall. Leave that and work either on both sides, or or do something and leave the fence. But leave the fence and put some sort of either pollinators or something in there. No. Mm -hmm. and the thing is that take care no. of the basics. Because we were thinking, that, I mean, the, it is a corridor for wildlife, of two hundred foot, and I just well, to certainly move know. the cinder blocks, and you might have to change the. The structure. I haven't seen the the fence. What the the holes are like. Um, I mean, moving a fence is very temporary. It's going to grow back really quickly. It's like a temporary disturbance to, to move it ten feet. Chain link. I mean, it isn't taking those cinder blocks out just going to bring the problem back of coyotes and whatnot. Their main concern. Yeah, well, so I, I don't know if the coyotes, coyotes will get underneath the fence. Uh, uh, they 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 go go that's why. That's why they were put there, right? So. Yeah. Let's come up with some. Okay. <coughs> I, I think move the fence. 
and uh, find something structurally that's better without the coyotes, but something that's not going to undermine. Yeah. Uh, let's get let's get them some direction. So for plantings and and moving the fence, or yeah, I like the idea of moving the fence maybe up a little bit. So you'll have the security of the yard, but at the same time, yeah. Yeah. No, you, you, you thought like moving the fence up to the existing to blueberries and tree line that's yes. there, yes. behind yes. it or on the other side? Is it because that's on just the plan? behind it? Okay. So is, is that on, that's not plan. on the plan? Is it? We don't know dimensions or anything like that. No, although it is in the picture, yeah, you can well, see. Picture, yeah, you can see where the so just the just up to the blueberries, so the blueberries are right in front of it so they can okay. access their blueberries and stuff but have the fence right there. Okay. Are you talking 10 feet? Yeah. Yeah. Probably about Whatever that feet is. Feet. Well, yeah. if you go uh, for each section, it would make sense. Your post would already be there. I don't know what the sections are. Are they 8 feet or 10 feet? I think they're usually 10 feet chain link. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So are you replacing yeah. with chain link or are you replacing with something else? I think they need to propose something. But Why it not works just for them. use yeah. what's there and just They could just it. reuse the what's the there. Same fence. Yeah. 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 The idea yeah. was that really the chain hard. link was the least, uh, yeah. you know, altering, yeah. should I say. Okay. You can see through it, but when the wind blows through it, it's not, yep. you know. You just need to yeah, secure the bottom better, I guess. <laughs> well, I have a solution for that. <laughs> well, the problem is you still need to have, it's not going to be able to use the center box. You have to be able to right. allow. So, so, yeah. But what's a solution that would prevent coyotes from digging under, like but at the same time satisfy uh, smaller? Uh, could you put like rocks? Very rocks I mean, you could extend it below. There's plenty right, yeah. other yeah. barriers that go below grade on these sorts of things. It wasn't some of the issue that the, this was vegetated and then the vegetation was cleared. And removed. Yeah, and you could see that when we were out there that that the tree trends? line was. Yeah. The original tree line was much well, better. The original tree line was. Yeah, like the the, the entire riverfront area was tree. Right. Yeah. It the the is substantially. Uh, substantially right. Substantially larger than. Okay. So, so you the can't proposal clear cut the the riverfront area, right? Excuse me. You can't. You're not supposed you're to. You're not supposed to remove right. the vegetation in the riverfront area. Right. You get the five thousand square feet or ten percent of a lot. Just as I so, so are you then. proposing moving the fence minimum of 10 feet, adding your bushes, your pollinators? Are you looking to add trees as well in terms of reforestation? I don't know what was put in the ground there. Well, let's, well, let's give some guidance. I would assume, that, yeah, that they should present a plan or revegetation plan. Sort of renaturalizing. Yeah. I mean, now, a, some, a lot of it would just in grow in by itself, but yeah. if you could just get it started. You want that plant in that 10 foot area that we just right. discussed? Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah. That's on the other side of the. Yeah, yeah. from the, the tree line we have there. How about if we have blueberries in that? Okay. Instead of a plant, can we just say it now, like some high bush blueberries and maybe some more maples or something like that? Um, it's a pretty large area. Think, think yeah, 10, 10 by uh, yeah, 160. But it's yeah. the whole, it's the whole swath. So yeah. have, you'd want to meander with it and have different varieties for sure. A lot of the the trees in behind it are white pine. Right. We put some of those back in. Right, because that's uh, an up on the right the desk. Desk. <laughs> wow. I mean, I think that we're going to have to see <laughs> where the fence, like, yeah, but, uh, we're going to have to yeah. submit a plan <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. where it's going to be. Smaller, so I think you can yeah. Yeah. with a plan. Yeah. Yeah. So you just some trees in there and just and be able to, and I think that will be okay. okay. My suggestion is to just continue one more hearing and <laughs> go ahead and come up with a revegetation plan for that as well. And show on the specific with locations and sizes yeah. and yep. counts and species. Yeah. Chairman, you have a question. Hello. Hi there. Uh, my name is Philip Goddard. I was notified of this hearing um, by by mail. I'm uh, we designated as an abutter. Um, do I have Do I have any influence on what on these proceedings, or should I speak at them? I'm yes, you sure yes, 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 definitely. Speaker. Speaker. Yeah. Yep. I've heard all the conversation this evening. Um, 
the property you're speaking about, I mean, we've been residents here since, we're, we are original owners at 17 Mary Shepherd, and this property has undergone significant redevelopment since we've been here um, through uh, Mr. and Mrs. Shijenko. Um To say that, you know, we revitalized maybe 10 feet into the wetlands, there's the better part of 60 feet of that, that those wetlands that have disappeared. You know, all well, these, these folks Big, have been huge here. pine trees that have been around for... You know, when we moved to the area, we were told very specifically, you know, this is your property. You don't go right. into the wetlands. We presumed it was for very significant reasons, and certainly you've provided a great number of those this evening. Um, it strikes me that it's it doesn't seem reasonable that whatever goes on here, you know, in exchange for, you know, flagrantly violating the, the regulations of the town, we potentially... <coughs> Unknowingly, unknowingly. Oh, well, I, I find that difficult to believe. It was pretty it made pretty clear to us when we purchased our yeah. properties. You know what we could and could not do. We had grass where we. Could I have understand, yard, but he and then said we don't, he didn't realize. No, can can you both direct comments through the chair, please? So, if I may finish, um, it just seems to me that there should be a, a significantly more uh, revitalization of the back part of that property, and we've all been aware of the wildlife in the area. We take care of our animals. Okay, so, you know, to put up a fence, if that's not sufficient, you put up something, as the gentleman up there stated, you go further into the ground, because I accept the fact dogs dig, okay? You have to come up with some mitigation for it if you want to protect your animals, all right? Um, there were significant pine trees removed there. I mean, 100, 150 foot trees. Mm -hmm. Whatever you revitalize, it's going to take another 50, 100 years for those to regrow. Unfortunately. Can I speak just to the animals being, I, I, we have about 10 Mary Shepherd right next door, the Bouchers. And as far as their animals go, the reason they've lost animals is because they let them out at night, unattended. I don't care if you have a fence. The fence they have, coyotes can jump it. And before they had a fence, they lost a dog. They've lost several cats. They just let them roam all night, all day. Um, I actually, they had a, one, their daughter had a pet. Um, um, rat. rat that wandered into our backyard and um, was very friendly, so I knew it was domesticated. I mean, they just are not, they have seven dogs now, and for some reason, I don't understand, the town of Littleton has allowed them a kennel license. Why they need seven dogs that bark incessantly half the day, or any time I go out in my yard or in my enclosed porch even, they start barking. Um, they also have an electric doggy fence for the front part of the yard. They escape it all the time. I'm out back. They have a couple that are pretty aggressive dogs and I'll be sitting out back and they'll come right into the yard and start barking at me. So I just want to speak to the animal part of it and I want you to hear all sides of this. We certainly appreciate your, your input. So the, what we're tasked tonight is to work within what's in our purview for the Wetlands Protection Act. So. What we've done is, is asked the applicant to go back and come back to us with having taken in feedback from the members here and from the audience as well to think of how you can, to the best of the property, renaturalize, and then we'll look at that point and see if going forward if the shed will be allowed so, to carry on the process. You're certainly welcome to close it this evening if that's what your choice is. Yeah, we'll continue. We'll submit a plan. So if we could ask for we'll continuing. Maybe the next meeting is November 18th. We'll be heard again on November 18th. Time will be posted. Okay. Oh, I think that was one of the ones. Oh, oh. Thank you for your time. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Eight o'clock. Continued public hearing number two ten. Ilucana, 195 Tahatawan, uh, 07 1 0. Mass DEP file number 204 899. Construction of an open space development, including tree clearing, grubbing, grading, construction of the subdivision roadway water management system, septic system, and multi-single family dwellings. Uh, did you see 
Um, you mean it was sent electronically? <coughs> no, it just came in four cost. It's the alternative. Oh, no, I didn't see this. <sighs> Given you a, a plan of the existing tree locations within the 50 foot wetland buffer. Mm -hmm. When we went out and walked this, you know, we walked, we had the whole trail staked down and, and we were going on through there. The real area where there's any trees is right at the crossing, 50 feet either side the, of the crossing. Um, the say before that is outside the 50 foot zone and then right at the edge of the field where there's a little bit of grading on either side of um, <coughs> the entry. The only trees that are in that area are, are dead and covered with invasives. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. That's Sarah and I saw when we were looking at this area right adjacent to it the other day, a couple weeks ago. Um, in the area of the crossing in here, um, several of these trees that are there are dead. Uh, there's a 12 inch pine that's dead. There's a 30 inch pine at the trunk that's split um, and one Old side is um, dead and the other side is still alive but um, short for this world uh, and then a couple black birch in the neighborhood and a couple more pine so it's pretty limited within that area um, for the trees that were there but that was something that you would ask for okay. um, besides the other stuff um, I had received uh, I had provided you guys with copies of CR um, Amy had marked up some of it. Um, I reviewed a bunch of it with the client last week. I don't know where we want to go to here. Do Amy and I sit down in a room and yeah, I think I, I looked at some of it. That so I'm happy to work with Amy on it as well. I think trying to find a balance with yeah. Amy's comments. So yeah, I think the border language probably applies. We need to flesh out the um, description. Yeah, I, I <laughs> pulled a few Stop. more pieces to yeah. add in, but I figured, you know, it's like we should just sit down and... Well, it's also going to depend on who is holding the CR, too, because they'll have it. Ah, thank you. So they've made some more progress with that. Um, uh, they've been talking with the New England Forestry Foundation here in town, um, and the person was ill and is retired, but there's another people that have gotten into the situ into the project they had and a chance discussion. To look at this? Um, they, I'm told they have had a chance to look at that and they have not had a chance to give feedback to okay. it yet. So I'm thinking maybe take the last round of comments from Amy, incorporate those, um, let them kind of digest what's there, and then we can start to circle back around on that. Do they, Neff, I assume they routinely hold CRs? Do you know what they're... That's my understanding. I, I haven't talked with them specifically on it. Um, a lot of people have been talking to them, but now that I have a name, <laughs> I'm, I'm all on. Sorry. <laughs> Don, do you happen to know? Um, about the <coughs> About Neff, does Neff, Neff hold CRs, I take it? Yes, uh, I was sort of curious why Neff. Is that because they're like they allow hunting, which I gather is one of the interests of the trust? Or I mean, because it's mostly town land flanking that area. And of course, the Conservation Trust flanks the other side of it made the push for the CONCOM to hold the CR. Mm. Uh, and the only informal thing I've heard is that there's a desire for hunting. Now, NEF does allow archery hunting, mm -hmm. as they do in Prouty Woods. Uh, 
I, I think that the hunting aspect would be something that we would discuss once we get into the CR, but we want to know what CRs they hold, um, specifically in the Commonwealth, so that we can look at Yeah, they hold CRs in the, in the Commonwealth, but they do forestry, so that's right. their prime concern. Yeah, we want to make sure that they're also focusing on wetlands and habitat. Yeah, in Holly, they, they and still not have just the forestry, CR. obviously. They have a lot of CRs. Okay. I'm supposed to have one Morgan property. Okay. Also near the um, loan processing. They they own that though. They own it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's something that they. Oh, that's why they're going to transfer it yeah. over. It sounds like we're a step away from it. From that. Okay. okay. Um, and I know that you specifically had asked for some alternative analysis. I know that came in today, so. We were just trying to digest that a little bit tonight. Yeah, I just went through it. Is that what you were looking for? No. <laughs> to put it bluntly, there isn't enough. Um, you say the square footage of the construction cost, but you don't total it up. And I didn't say anything in there. I did not write that. Oh. What? I did you not did, prepare you didn't that. write it. Oh, you didn't write this? No. It's from, from the owner. Oh. Because it, it does, it's not clear what what we need. Because this is this right. sets a, a huge precedent. If we're going to accept a an economic reason for allowing development within the fifty, that's that's a significant uh, allowance. Because and we so we we need this to be very specific in terms of total total cost. And that it would be a negative. So, as we had mentioned before, in numerous times, it's it's not just a, a economic thing. Clearly, there's a, a whole of the economics behind this is is running the whole piece. These are much smaller lots as per the whole thing. This property is accessible via as we coming around here, but it would be in the 50 foot buffer zone, and it would be close to and create more um, infringement on the area if it didn't have this little crossing that we had right here. There's very much more disturbance in coming around than doing the crossing. So there'd be more disturbance of the 50 foot zone, there'd be more disturbance in um, Wait, are you talking the about the cluster development w Sorry, without I, I, I guess I'm not sure what you're saying. What the alternative you're saying? Closer, <coughs> if you want to have a. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. We, had, the drive comes in through here, um, through the field, and then through the woods, and then the the wetland crossing, which is. So I'm talking about. Oh. And alternatively site can be accessed by coming up and around from here. I'm talking about not having that at all, just having the cluster development over there and having no development in the 50. I understand that. And not and talking about alternative ways to access that back part. I'm talking about not having that back part at all. Yeah. So when we started this whole project, we started with a conventional layout that shows the whole site as residential and privately owned properties. And it's the planning board's request and it's in the zoning for the town of Littleton that when you have more than 10 acres, you look into cluster development. I clearly am behind the cluster development and I think it's a, a better way um, to go. <coughs> the, having said that, the site has the ability of being development in a whole lot of other areas that had a whole lot more buffer zone work, both um, you know outside the buffer but in adjacent, lots within it. And as I mentioned when I came in this before and, and had all the previous different plans, it went from multiple lots down to two lots that have buffer zone and the access to it having one crossing. And we were asking for the waiver to allow for the crossing, to allow to cross the 50-foot zones on either side of that. Um, and a you know 
basically, which is a 120 foot area and a little bit of grading here and here where it's all in faces right now. Um, but we usually don't allow any building of the 50 unless it's absolutely required by its setbacks or, is, or is septic system. Yeah. Right. So that's the problem. You're just you're trying to justify crossing over the 50 for an economic reason, well, which we just, have it's never. It's not just the, the 50. It's, it's, it's a direct wetland impact. A direct yeah. wetland impact and the 50 for an economic impact or for an economic reason. And we have never allowed that. We have not, this is the first time somebody's asked for that. Under your new bylaw. Under my, under our new bylaw. Yeah. Not the first time it's been asked for. So it's a huge ask and we need more than this. Well, I think that may have been lost in translation, I think. Um, Bruce hears that now where he did not draft that. It's not what he was asked, well, to, no, asked to do. We've but been so asking for this for a long time. The applicant has to drive that as well. Um, <coughs> I, I don't have the ability for the, the numbers that's out of my pay grade. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I think yeah. everyone, I think they understand what we're asking, but I don't think perhaps we're getting the message to the right person. Hmm. So. Okay. Because I'm not willing to accept it as is. Anybody else got any comments? So I think if, if, if I could, uh, Brian BM 271 Harwood asked that his letter become part of the record that uh, at, um, and, and by preface Mark Gallagher had is continuing with the planning board discussion about the densities question. and and the zoning issues which are not really per se okay. pertinent here okay. if they need to change it they'll need to come back okay um, so he says after review of the letter from Mark Gallagher to the planning board and CONCOM dated Sunday November 3rd Another information, it's very clear that there's a serious density issue with this project. It is an abutter of grave concerns regarding this process to date. It's clear the original path plan from which the density was determined was flawed and did not meet zoning requirements. This density is creating the need for common separate sy system to be constructed in and around the buffer zones. Our property is home to the Vernal Pool, which has been discussed. I would like to repeat my concern over the impact of the wetland crossing and multi-unit septic, septic on this delicate area, it's clear to me that the drainage of this vernal pool would be affected by the invasion of the wetland area. The applicant's own wetland consultant has the opinion that this wetland should be avoided because of difficulty in permitting. That's just okay. so it gets submitted to the record. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Where do you want to go from here? Well, I'll talk with um, the applicant to try to get you a better environmental piece and our economic piece. Um, and I'd like to set up whatever we can to move forward on the uh, CR yes, discussion. Okay. Extend okay. to any other comments? 18. Oh. There's no other comments. We'll just extend to the next next meeting and. If, if it's worth it, if, if Neff wants to move ahead and we can sit down and go over it together at some point, too, that's worth it. So. Okay. And could we, we join in that, too? Or? It might be preliminary. Once we get to, I'd like to see what everybody's goals are first. Right. We'll bring some kind of activity in public yep. interest. Yep. For sure. We have to see if they're the one that's actually going to do it first. Yeah. So. Neff often rejects things because it isn't a forestry project. Yeah. They actively do forestry. Mm -hmm. That's right. So they may. Maybe it is. But they do have 30 acres of forest plant, right? That's involved yeah. there. Yeah. So maybe, maybe it is. A and that's plant. supposed to be allowed at some it point. It's allowed. Yeah. It's drafted right. in there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, I didn't get here early enough. I know in the first part of the discussion there was um, one of the line items is a site walk at 333, 336, 338. Haven't gotten there yet. Got, yet. Okay. got 10 seconds for it or? Okay. 
It's up to the yeah. chairman. So we've still got. Yeah, I guess we give you ten seconds. All right. I, I've <laughs> submitted and I brought a couple plans. Um, the property is about 15 acres with uh, a lot of wetland. Um, the lines have been delineated by Oxbow. I'll be filing an ANRAD tomorrow. I know you guys typically don't schedule sidewalks until you have a meeting, but for an ANRAD it always seems so strange to have a meeting just to schedule a sidewalk. So I'm hoping that maybe we can schedule a sidewalk prior to it. Um, we're most concerned about the, the lines basically behind the two existing homes um, in that location. 336 and 338. Right next door. The Groskowski property. Oh. Between, between here and the church. The dentist's oh, office. Behind the dentist's yeah. Office. Now I go back further enough to be one of those cows on that property. Yeah. <laughs> that cows are still yeah. swimming right now. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> just <laughs> <idiots>. <laughs> you think yeah. you have enough upland to get anything out there? Well, we're not going out there. Okay. We're staying up on the hill. But I need to... To do the project, we have to have delineation of what's up and what's dry. Okay. And I'm not going to use the whole 15 acres for that. There's going to be a portion of that that will be used. So, um, There's drainage down from there. And yes. I think you know that having worked on the church. Yep, and definitely. All the way down to Uplands and Cup. And well, actually, the drainage starts at Jennifer Street. Yeah, no, it's all yeah. all, <laughs> all, <laughs> and it comes yeah. all the way down through. Definitely so. Um, once we have that on file, Amy can send an email to see if there's a date and time that we can meet. Okay. It just so. kind of you don't want to try to set one up while we're all sitting here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When did you have it all flagged? It's all flagged. Oh, it is. It's all flagged. I'll be filing in the ANRAD tomorrow. Oh. Oh. You got these plans that have it, and I have to be more if you need copies of more of it. Um, Actually, they're talking about snow. Friday. Some, Thursday. Some time Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> Oh, well, throw, out, throw out some dates. I can go Friday after 11, so between 11 and I would need to be back home by 3.15. That's so. this Friday? And next Friday. you're going to work on Friday, so right? No. That's fine. No, I, work, I work most Fridays. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who else can go? I can make that work. I'm not sure how much snow they're talking about, but it is. They don't know yet. Going to be a, yeah. yeah. It could be. It could nothing. be. Is that Friday they're talking about? Yeah. 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 Just looking at seventy-one percent chance. Yeah. It's pretty high. Mm -hmm. I saw a report that said it was pretty much west of Worcester. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And we don't. Exactly. We don't want to walk around the rain either. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Like it means. As far as they're concerned, we're Worcester. What time on Friday? Any time. Amy, what works for you? Uh, so Friday? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just trying to see. I think I'm probably going to. Anytime after 11. I work yeah, on Friday. Right. Right. I wouldn't be able to do so. And we can do yeah. one to one, too, if. if one. Yeah, if you could. Like, I can't be there until after, like, maybe five ish on Friday. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's dark. It's or if, if someone wants to go out this weekend, I mean, yeah. we don't do have to do a heavy duty look at the line, but we need to walk back there. And so you I could do Saturday. Friday, 1 o'clock, where's the meeting site? In yeah. Roskowski's driveway? I got 11 and I got 1. Is it 1 now? Okay, Friday at 1. I could do Saturday walk. I could do Saturday. Yeah. So maybe two walks? One, one two, on yeah. Friday? So Friday at 1 at where do we meet? We'd, uh, I'll confirm that and let you okay. know. Okay, all right. Church. Yeah, that's a possibility. Church might be easier. Church might be easier. And then Saturday? Anna, what time are you doing on Saturday? I don't know. I could do any time. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. We'll get up early. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock's up too early. That'd be good. Okay. All right, good. we'll confirm locations. Okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Super. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Uh, continued discussion. Potential wetlands violation, 5 Scott Road. You guys do a great job. Thank you. Court, you hear about that? He's on his way. He should be here right now. Mm -hmm. right. Town Council says he'll be here at 8.48. I just asked him for his, is that, what did he tell you? 14 minutes. 14 minutes. <laughs> 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 
848, that's pretty precise. Yes. Um, just wanted to update you guys. Um, just wanted to show you the email I received today. I was going to say, you had uh, requested that we have the survey done for today. Surveyor confirmed that I was able to retain that survey's been done. Um, I should have plans showing. <laughs> Everything's done, so that means at the next meeting. I should have plans. The plans would outline the wetland restoration, the details, um, elevation details, basically everything that I had in the narrative. Because you guys didn't have any issues with the narrative, at least to this day, but you wanted something on the plans. I finally was able to get, after a while of being frustrated, was able to get somebody on the property. So. Oh, you were able to do the survey? Yeah. <laughs> Just any old. Well, right. Do you need that too? Well, no, the survey's done, so I guess, you know, the survey's done. It's just not sitting in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I had to get him out there. I had to get him mobilized. He collected the data. He finished everything up today. So I think it, reading back through the notes, you recognize that the commission is frustrated, so I think you have to hold something true that if you don't have X, Y, Z at the next meeting, something goes forward. I so. we said enforcement at this meeting without a uh, plan um, because it's been dragging. However, I thought it was a tall order for you to have a plan in two weeks. Um, the surveyors are busy this time of year. Well, I'm just happy I was able to get them out there. <laughs> um, um, yeah, no, I understand. I um, do quite a bit of contracting, including for surveyors, and um, so thought it was a tall order to get a plan in this period of time. But you, yeah. Uh, well, let's be clear on the expectations for the next meeting in <coughs> two weeks. That would be the 18th. Yep. So, what are the expectations on that plan besides grading and? The, the volume, remediation, yeah, the volume like where you're planting, well, so let's come up with because plantings. it's going to have to work with the, the difference between, that, that was one of the big things we talked about last time, in order to even, and this has been the kind of the issue all along, even to have just a baseline conversation about where to go from here, we need, you know, existing conditions and what existed prior to the best of your ability. That's why you were hired was to conduct kind of the forensic analysis, you know, so whatever information you can, you know, whether it's a solid line or if you have to dash the line because it's an approximation of a feature, um, we need a basis to have a conversation. And so that's, that's been our frustration. Erosion control, so you've got erosion control measures in there. 50 foot, 100 and foot. Things. Yeah, things. Areas. Uh, volume of soil removal from that Do you want build dock, area. If there's going to be a dock, dock location, dock storage. Yeah. If, because so much has happened, there's not going to be any storage of anything within that area. Although that dock wasn't going to be a permanent, isn't it a permanent feature then? Right, but oh, you know, if you, you put it back to... It's going to be considered stockpiling in a resource area, something that big. And mm -hmm. when something's gone under this type of violation for so long, I don't think that, that should even be on the plan. There's no dock there now, right? There's a dock in the water. There's been... Is there a dock? I'm trying to... It's that, that's yeah. the one with a really long dock. He puts prior it in the cove to the work that was done. puts it out. Oh. Based on aerial photographs. He does take it out? Well, there's a, there's no. Thought it was always there, no. Does he bring it all the way up onto the land? Well, so, I, the areas I've seen show that it... it I'm talking about in the water. He pulls it up on the peninsula. Oh, okay. And then supposedly he takes it out in pieces. It comes off in sections. Oh, so because it's one. not stored on this property. Okay, so we'll look forward to your plan. And all right, now you said also said number of plants, so we want a specific pallet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Diameters, varieties, locations. So you wanted trees because what I saw from pre-existing conditions, it, that there wasn't it's any mostly trees. Mostly sedge grass. It was, it was 
mostly sedge grass ferns. Um, I'm going in with a New England wetland plant mix. Something that's going to wind up doing more like, well, actually, I think I give you guys the plant well, we mix. It's going to do things like Joe Pye weed, bigger ticks, um, ferns, so, not sedge. Not sedge. Yeah, but there's not sedge on the property now. But nut sedge isn't really. Isn't nut sedge invasive? Yeah. Is it well, it's considered aggressive it more than yeah. invasive. Yeah. Okay. So I think we can leave that. I saw purple that. loose drive there too, which really bugs me. I've been seeing that around a lot more. Yeah, don't right. plant that. Yeah, really. no, don't plant that. <laughs> no, if anything, part of the um, reclamation plan I submitted yeah. called for management. Yeah. You know, having them pull the stuff out. Right. Yeah. Because where it is, you can't you can't go in there and do a stem if it's right on the water. You have to go in and physically bag the thing and pull it out. Okay, okay. we will look right. forward to the plan. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Yep. And I guess I go back up to uh, conservation, agent. conservation agent and assistant conservation agent. What have you? Uh, so okay. Ann and I have been back and forth on this, so I think I sent you the line. Oh, she, she basically said, and I think this is new since last time we did this, a little tweaking to the assistant conservation agent language, uh, but then realized that we need to make sure it's separated from the conservation agent. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah, that's a good like, point. Mini me, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we did make it different. But I had to go back to the conservation agent and make sure that, that oh. there was supervision and stuff in there. Okay. Stuff. So, um, I don't think there are any fundamental changes in here. Um, did you want another chance to look at this? Did you get a chance? Otherwise, what, what we need is a vote for you guys to approve this language so that it can go to the personnel board for rating or grading or whatever they call it. It's still going to have to get digested by another one. So I would approve it as written because yeah, it's, it's still going to have to be yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 still going to It's not going to be a final document. I don't yeah. think. Mm -hmm. Make a motion. Make a motion. To motion. Move that we accept oh. that as. Uh, Written. Do we hear oh, a second? Both the conservation second and these are conservation. Yeah. Do we hear a second? I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about splitting someone. We decided it was going to get just too messy. But uh, it would have been okay. Watershed yeah. Ranger or something. Yeah. Girl yeah. Scout and <laughs> Vernal Pool. What's that all about? Um, some Girl Spouts. Girl Spouts. Girl Spouts. Some Girl Scouts want to do a vernal pool project for their Gold platinum project, or whatever it is. Basically. It's 50 hours each. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a lot. Um, okay. And so they, they're going to come a proposal. They want to come in on the 18th, actually, as it cool. turns out, and talk to you about it. Good. Uh, they might like raise money for signs for vernal pool crossing oh. education. They're going to be at all the fairs. And third Thursdays are done, but you know they go to these things. And, with as long interest. as they get wet and get their hands in it. And like they they were getting all hot and heavy about getting the regulations changed to include vernal pools. I said, you go, girls. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yes. Wow. So, um, and actually, and then coincidentally, um, a scout came in, and she might want to do pollinators. Cool. Uh, but she wouldn't start until the spring yep. um, to, to get her scout and her eagle scout piece of it. Well, but she'd want to start now or in the winter to get everything planned so that lined up everything's ready to go I, I talked to sandy clyde and sandy's like all over her but it okay mm. cool. so that would involve a change to the bylaw right for town meeting oh yeah yeah i, I they were biting off more than they could chew but right. they were all very very excited about it so and turtles also they're very in, one of them particular more there's three girls was more interested in probably the turtle aspect of things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. S S V T grant. Oh god help me we got the grant. So we've got I can't remember what it was, hundred and twenty hours of S V T helping with the meadow management. Cool. Stuff coming up with things. So um, I guess I'll be spending some of my time doing that. I put my foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll pay dividends. Yes, it will. MC, MCA Native Pollinator Task Force event? That's the whatever they call themselves. Sorry, whatever we call ourselves. The Metro West Conservation Alliance now. Um, I'm on the task force for the Native, and 
they're having this thing on November 17th for, with Dr. Goodyear, if anybody's interested. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all that was. I want, speaking of girls, yeah, I have a Girl Scout event I have to be at, unfortunately, all day that day. Oh, I wanted to go yeah. to that, yes. Okay. Yeah, it, it, it's down South Road, too, so. Um, oh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I have come to found I can be doing pollinators full time. There's yeah. no doubt about it. Right. <laughs> UMass Forestry no. Conservation no. Contract and for Forestry Legacy. So, boy, you might as well just like keep sending different stuff. Uh, they must have a mailing deadline of October 31st. <laughs> <laughs> There's the stuff you sent over to me, Jim. They're looking for a contact um, to learn more about the information sources and tools used by municipalities to assist with decision making regarding protection, stewardship, climate adaptation forests, such as Biomap 2, the Mapper tools. They want someone to talk to. Not? Matt, you're the forest guy. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, forest Legacy Program. Mm -hmm. um, which which Littleton was listed? Don't with, need need, that. Don's right outside. Do we need Don't. him for the SVT item? Um, yeah. Okay. Forest legacy designation in your town would allow access to another funding source for potential forest conservation projects that involve willing private landowners. <laughs> As opposed to willing <laughs> private landowners. <laughs> uh, if you'd like help, like to help our application to expand our forest legacies areas, please provide a letter of support of the inclusion of your town. Do you know what that Town is? Forest? I we do, do you know this the one? Of the I, 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 yeah, I think, a I think they're just program that goes through DCR. I think right. they're just looking for letters to say how great it is, so that they can keep their funding up. Is, am I interpreting I know, that correctly? It. It sounds like they if want to If you'd like add. to help our application to expand oh. our forest legacy mm -hmm. areas, please provide a letter of support Too little to oh. of the inclusion of your town in the legacy areas. I thought we already were. I thought we weren't. Hmm. So. Can we give that to Matt, too? <laughs> 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 I can pull them up. Thank you. I mean, and then they, they, they also sent me this forest carbon yeah, and essential like natural that, solution yeah. for well, climate change. See, yeah. yeah. so they just mail it every time. Oh, they do have is, good ones, though. Yeah. So I don't think anybody wanted to see that. Or. All right. Another update and administrative action. Three Winchester, I guess. Yes. So, um, do you all remember Three Westchester? This is Kyle Mann's house. Yeah. Um, he's a squish between buffer zones. He did some brush clearing behind the house in what he says was lawn. Kind of looks to us more like it was maybe some old lawn, some kind of getting into the buffer zone wetland area. At least three trees came down, which he said were coming down anyway, all bittersweet, rose, some grape, some other stuff. Yeah, there's a bunch of grapevine and bittersweet. Yeah. Yeah, one of those stumps was surrounded by bittersweet. Yeah, uh, but it was the biggest tree. It was like, yeah, it was right. good, like ten and there, tree. Uh, his, his property line is, is like right there, but the woman who owns the stuff behind him told him basically, you know, have at it. There's cinder blocks back there, there's concrete, there's metal, there's old fencing, there's a rose bush the size of this room. Um, so he would he, he just let me know if, if I'm misrepresenting anything here. He would like to clean up certainly the the solid waste type stuff. He wants to make it nice for when he sells it, basically. And then so there's just, just the discussion about how much lawn should he be allowed to keep. You want it by hand? He was he did not have equipment in there. Um, he was doing he was doing it by hand. He said he, he would plan to drive. I think an excavator to the edge of where the current erosion control is and reach the bucket out and then pull it out. By he hand. has to move, and this was always planned, he has to move the erosion controls he has now out a bit so he can crush the uh, the old tank and remove that. Mm -hmm. So while that's there, he had to reach the bucket in so he can pull stuff out, you know, fill the bucket by hand. Um, yes. I'm not quite sure how you would tackle that rose bush. So would you then... Yeah, well, have him put in plantings as well. Once he's so that's that's. Yeah. So he so wants to do grass. Of yeah. his own, right. right. Well, that's, that's what we said. Yeah. Like we've never, we've yeah. never. You can kind of tell where the grass used grass. to be. Yeah. It was like maybe half of the way between the road controls and where he stopped already, clearing. And it's already way into the buffer zone. So one of the things we talked about was um, 
because he really he should have came to talk to us before. He wasn't supposed to do any clearing at all back there. Um, the wood line we had that was part of our discussion was are you take you know are you taking out any trees? Are you taking anything out? And you know the answer was no. So we did not have that discussion. And then you know so we noticed. So that was so that was basically the, the discussion with him was hey this shouldn't have been cleared in the first place but in recognition that I mean I personally you know you saw the orange roots some you know really large vines um, you know and if the trees were coming down there's no way some of these trees weren't coming down with all the bittersweet and grapevine so we talked about um, you know so allowing him a, to do some swap for allowing him to do it but yeah. then he has to plant not not long but. Right. Like but we also nice talk about putting in boulders. Would the put boulders there. Dealt yeah. with though? No. So no. right. So he. Would, right yeah. Back. So yeah. we talked about him. You know, perhaps ha allowing him to do a little more, which s would satisfy his desire to make it look neater. But then also the benefit would be to control some invasives. But I think we kind of need him here to really have the discussion. Yeah, I thought, I thought yeah. he said he was going to come in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, I forgot. Because he definitely needed. No, he a seemed like he was really busy and was like, oh, yeah. I'll try to get in yeah. there. Oh. But he was so pushing back. So, as of right now, we too. can't do anything until he comes in. Yeah. Right. All right. And welcome. Yeah. Come so, back up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anna, do you want to pick up where we left off to tell council like what we're thinking of what should be added and what mm. our kind of stream of thought is for that? Sure. Do I have a line Um we we noticed that in the letter that you gave to us, the first part of the letter explains that it was going to be a swap, but the actual language did not um, mention the assignment of the uh, Article 97 protection to the well field area. Uh, it only mentions um, that the field area is surplus. So in order for us to be assured that we are getting a swap, can there be language either added to this moved or a separate motion in addition to this that, that moves that the well field will be under 97? I'm sure we can. No? Good. I'm trying to open it right now. Okay. Because it would help if I could see it. There you go. Actually, I did get a guard. Oh, You guys did return it. That would be good. Okay, and so you want to add to this uh, something along the lines of. In return, property at 74 Whitcomb Avenue, parcel U40-15-0, will be placed under Article 97 protection. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. Um, or is there other actions that have to occur before you make that motion? Or well, so, yeah, so really the process is, I think the state would really like to see a clean motion. Um, about the parcel you're declaring surplus, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think they're going to object if we put a second paragraph that says something like, "With the understanding that once this That's parcel occurs. is um, removed right. from Article 97 protection, mm -hmm. this article will be placed in Article 97 okay. protection." Yeah, isn't that would be like good. A no net loss anyway. Doesn't it? Ha isn't there a certain amount? Like, wouldn't that strengthen the case? Say that we're doing it would this. strengthen our case definitely because well, I mean, then the we wouldn't know. We wouldn't yeah, so we'll ex yeah, so right, right. so we'll explain to EOEA that this is what we're doing. That we're you know replacing this for that. It's a quid pro quo. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> you know, we used to say that, aren't you? And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just in, in general, in terms of planning and in the land, I'm, and I'm just asking because I'm mm -hmm. curious. Is there is there any additional protection that should be put in place in this area to, so it's it. Just longer term, bigger picture, so it doesn't keep coming up that oh, now this this area here is going to be developed. And it's like this land was acquired with the intent of helping the, the water system, right? We want to keep these natural processes around, so we have to do less work in the long term. Well, I think that that um, the area around a well has additional protections anyway, 
Um, well, no, I'm just saying, is there any other parcel here that would be? Oh, because you know, outside like of instead the, of a one to one, sometimes we say replication, three to one. Like, wouldn't it be great to do something better than just the minimum standard? Outside of parcel U40. Yeah, I'm just curious. Is there something out there? No, I don't. That's why I brought it well, up. Well, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the they already circled? <laughs> Where's the garage? The only it? thing not, this is where the it's going to be well, removed in the water. because I mean the garage well it's already been demolished and is yeah, that's going to be restored right yeah okay. so, so th this is all getting restored yeah and that's mm -hmm. so that's a it's the equivalent yeah. though right there, although is there this does look else? a little bigger the well, only thing I'm concerned is, about is if you get too carried away with some of this if they have to do something there on the property that maintains the water supply we no, could like forested land or whatever but that ends up we have to go back to the legislature to get approval of something that gets to be kind of a messy situation. We've had those issues with the water tower. It doesn't even happen now. I'm just saying, again, planning and long term and trying to keep this well, area we don't safe. Know what's going to happen? We don't know. You know? So it's, it's so it, it'll be for water supply protection yeah. because that's the purpose of the land. And I wouldn't yeah. want to add a purpose to that with the fear that I'm taking away from the primary component, which is water supply protection. Mm -hmm. So all the water supply protection land in this area has been identified? Yeah, so all the... Mm -hmm. These are all houses now around it. Yeah. There's nothing right. left, right? So everything yeah. you see here is already protected right. in various ways. So the, this is kind of the last piece that will fit in there. Once this parcel is protected, then that whole yeah. well site will be protected. Houses, houses, right. houses. I just I have a feeling when <coughs> Sanderson deeded it over to the town, nobody had any idea about putting a treatment plant in. Wasn't it was oh, just the original well site a hundred years ago? Probably well, well, even with the the uh, in the field, I don't think anybody had any idea that we were going to be needing all this, and now we do. It's it's come about hmm. with all the testing that's been done Draft over language the years. To use yeah, like something and stuff that, that came up. Yeah, that we didn't know anything about. That's true. Well, this it's Article ninety seven. It's under Water Department yeah. ownership, not yep. conservation. Not you just need right. conservation. Right. So so this, so this process that you're going through yeah. was really adopted, in my opinion. With the idea that the conservation commission was probably going to um, say no, 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 no but ha <laughs> have, it, have some sort of controlling interest yeah. right. mm -hmm. in the conservation land. Mm -hmm. So you need uh, approval tonight, right? Mm -hmm. We'd like it, yeah. And okay. we'd like a unanimous vote. And if we're not going to get a unanimous vote, it would be helpful to know that ahead of time. So the language is going to be like you said the, that. He's going to draft it. He's oh, going to draft it now. now. Oh. I was going to say, give the man a pen. All right. <laughs> we have some, I think, butters here. Anybody got any? Um, really, the only thing was uh, mentioning you saying, you know. I'm oh, sorry, could you identify yourself? Uh, yes, yeah. uh, Robert Otto yeah. would come out. Uh, you know, you were mentioning this being a process just to get it, the Conservation Commission's concerns if it was conservation space. According to the EEA policy, it, it specifically, and this is this item that you guys are going over with the declaration of surplus, is, quote, obtain a unanimous vote of the Municipal Conservation Commission that the Article 97 land is surplus to municipal conservation and open space needs. So it includes open space, which this is designated as open space for the um, open space and recreation plan in the My question now was, Carl wasn't here tonight. No, it's unanimous who's yeah. here. Oh, I'm just... Yeah. 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 yeah, we have a quorum, so I guess it would be all right. Yeah, but I'm just right. unanimous with the board. Mm. He supported it in the spring. Mm. Well, we were unanimous in the spring. Right, that's a good point. I think we're actually all here then. Yeah, yeah. I think we were actually all here then. Yes, you matter, so Kyle. Kick me out of it. Points we should ask. Do you support it? I try to.
Yep. Just while we're waiting, just a point of interest. I came down Harvard Road the other day, and that parking lot was completely full. And almost people almost oh, out on the that road. Saturday, that was so nice. Yeah, because everybody knew the storm was coming. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, there's a lot of overflow. And how are we making out down the Cloverdale? Is that one pretty near? Boardwalk's almost done. The parking lot. I haven't seen recently. I, I think highway is still accumulating grindings. Yeah. Or, well, I'm not quite sure why they haven't finished. The kiosk is done. We just need time to put it in. The uh, light department drilled some really big holes. <laughs> so they need more concrete. The kiosk? <laughs> I'm like, don't you have a smaller auger? <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. Like, well, yeah. you either do it by hand, you get the light department to do it, and you buy more cement, so it's just, oh, it's just pretty funny. It's out there like, holy funny. cow, <laughs> don't go more than four feet deep. It will deep. not fall over. I yeah, say yeah. it won't heave. <laughs> you'll have, uh, you'll have a little Rocks more tolerance them. before it yeah. heaves. <laughs> just trying to spare the volunteers, you know, sitting there with a post hole digger, trying to make oh, holes. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> over there. Yeah. Mm. You're just going to use telephone poles for lights, right? <laughs> yeah, let's light it up. <laughs> yeah, so the kiosk and the swing sign should hopefully be going up in the next week or so. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Sorry to say that's my best handwriting. It's <laughs> better than my son's. My, hand, my handwriting's terrible now. It used to be never good. Did you want to ask about uh, conservation restrictions and if we can say who holds a conservation hmm. restriction? Hmm. Sure. <laughs> 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 or are you done? So Is sorry. it correct to say as such time as though? Cause, um, what would you prefer? Does that mean it would happen to happen at the same time? Well, I think the state... Or does that give you room to, like, subsequently do it? Uh, yeah, the it state's going to want to see them happen more or less simultaneously. Okay. So I'm not troubled by that language. Okay. That's fine with me. You're going to read it? I see. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, you want to make a motion? You move that. <laughs> I'll read it aloud first. Um, with the understanding that Littleton Assessor's Parcel U40150, which is... Uh, are you reading the whole thing? I'm just reading this part. No, no, you want to read the, the entire, whole, oh, the the entire whole motion? Thing. Okay. Yeah. That the Littleton Conservation Commission declares that a parcel of land shown on the Littleton Assessor's map is parcel U41380, comprising approximately 2.5 acres and being a portion of the property described in a deed recorded in the Millisex South Registry of Deeds in Book 19902, page 89, is surplus to conservation and open space needs of the town of Littleton. Um, I'm just checking something here. Surplus to conservation. Oh, and surplus to municipal needs of the town, other than the needs of the water department. With the understanding that Littleton Assessor's Parcel U40150 will be placed under Article 97 protection at such time as the Article 97 protection is removed from the Assessor's Parcel U41830. Wait, U40. Is that the right parcel number? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> U41-38-0, U41, U41, apologize for the writing. U41-44, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So why is that U8 there? Is that should not that be? Did I, I think I meant to cross it out. Okay. Let me cross out that 8. It's U41-380. That's the 
That's the Whitcomb field parcel. 74 Whitcomb Ave, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's the motion. So it will happen at the same time. Is everyone in? Happy with or do we, oh, we done? And we'll have a <laughs> problem. <laughs> Anybody want to second that? Somebody needs to pause. Somebody needs to second it. I'll second it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Do you need a roll on that? Unanimous. Uh, I well, so I'd like to declare that it was unanimous. Right. So, so I don't. I guess if no one's abstaining and no one's voting right. no, I think right. that's unanimous. Okay. So it doesn't need a roll call. Are you going to type that up, or do you want to give that to me, and I'll type it up? I think you've got to do it on an official letter or something. I can. Uh, I, I, I need to type it. up the motion for the minutes. Oh, I'll send it back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you. you. Did you have a question you wanted to ask? Oh, yes. We <laughs> want <laughs> So who determines who owns or who manages a CR? So do we have, if, if we have a parcel and we know there's two people vetting for that, are we able to say we feel that this may be better for the CR at hand, or is it the person oh. yeah. that is donating determines that and we agree? So is this a drafted CR or we're in the process? This is a hypothetical. It's, oh, it, a hypothetical. It, it, it's in the works, yeah. Yeah, okay. but this, I mean, but it is a hypothetical question because it's going to come through. So I think others. it's, I think you can do it either way. So it comes down to a point of negotiation. Which is kind of what we thought. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can do it either way. So j and just to make sure I'm under understanding, so the person that's giving the CR mm -hmm. wants to be the enforcer of the CR or wants to be your enforcing agent? To be well, there's, there's three or four choices of who could hold the CR. Right. Um, and they want person A, the commission may want person B, or organization B. Okay. To hold the CR. Okay. The owner will still be the same. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this is, so so you're not in the running? Oh, actually, is the land being donated or is the land? Yeah, it's, it's not. It's being purchased, purchased with a, a, house, a hypothetical house slot. <laughs> <laughs> it's all under an NOI. Okay. Better. But it would be a third party owner. owner. It wouldn't be. Yeah. It's not donated. It it's would be a third party owner. owner. Yeah. Okay. And there's a. And so it, so Private they need ownership. to put a CR on it mm -hmm. to do what they want it. This do. doesn't. Mm -hmm. th this doesn't need to be hypothetical, does it? No, but I think it pertains to so many others that are coming down too. Well, that's true. Yeah, it so. can be used for anything. Anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it actually be comes down to a policy decision for okay. you, how you want to proceed. Okay. But I would suggest that you. Treat everyone this the same. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can the but it has to be what's best for the land, not the person. So if yeah. something is. Yeah. I guess how to determine that though. Can the town of Littleton hold the CR? I'm curious. Not if they're. Yeah. For, not if they're. For the free. conservation commission can. Right. The town can't. It's the concom. But not if the town owns it. Right. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. the town is a single. You entity. can't oversee yourself. <coughs> Unfortunately, much as we'd like. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming back. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Good to see you all. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other business that we need to discuss? Okay. Eight fifteen. You kind of mentioned to me on the phone. Thanks for coming down, Tom. About King Street. Is that somebody you want? You want, thought about having somebody else look at that? Uh, well, if, if they're going to do a site walk Friday and Saturday, we can talk about a third party review. Okay. At that point. Okay. Everybody's going to get a little spray for ticks. The ticks are yes. out. Yes. Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. Still? Very bad. Even the cold. Even after the frost? Very bad. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Well, they're like, if about not, the worst I've seen. Worse. Yeah. yeah. They're desperate. Yeah. Even, even wow. in the frost. I haven't had like any on me. That's weird. It's because you work inside. No, I'm not inside all the time. Hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and didn't get any ticks. Does anybody want to move to close? Oh, so move. I'll make a motion. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> all those in favor? Aye. Aye.